Welcome everyone, in this video I will get a bit mad What do you mean some network? And I will show you guys how to set up a guest account on your Windows 11 Irrespective if it's home edition, pro edition or enterprise edition This method will work for you guys to add a guest account Why am I doing this video? Well so Today I got recommended some videos on how to add guest accounts to Windows 11 I googled them up as well. Most of the videos, they're literally not working for Windows 11 Home Edition. And this fellow right here, he goes about adding a standard account and calling it a guest account. This is not a guest account. This is a standard account. Just heads up, guys. So I did post a comment below as well that this is not a, creating a guest account. This is a standard account. Uh, this fellow right here, uh, his viewers also mentioned that uh, there is a thing called local users and group. They don't show up on home edition because home edition does not have that. It only is valid for pro edition. So he's showing here something for a pro edition, but so it's technically not wrong. You can use this process to create a guest account on a pro or enterprise edition. It will not work for home edition. In this video, I'll actually show you guys how to set up a guest account, not a standard account, a guest account on Windows 11 irrespective of home or pro or, or enterprise this will work this approach will work so uh, if you guys like this video please hit the like please subscribe uh, and guys sorry for the resolution here home edition does not give me an hand session i because i can't do remote desktop it is disabled on uh, windows home edition so i can't do the hand session so sorry about the screen resolution guys i have tried to increase it to that to a size that is feasible for me to work with but and for you to view and i can't really come up with a resolution that works that does the proper resolution for that so sorry ahead of time and uh, this is what you need to do for setting up your group account or setting up your uh, user account as a guest uh, for whatever reason you want to do that that's up to you guys but uh, one reason it might be that you don't want them to see your system specs like for example you're on a kiosk environment like Best Buy might have that maybe I don't know why you would use a guest account over a standard account it does have less privileges it is a little bit more secure to give somebody a guest account versus a standard account so let's get into it uh, first of all just to be on the same page as everybody in terms of what version I'm using. I'm using um, the home edition about and it, these commands will also work for the pro edition as well. So you can run these commands on pro edition as well. Uh, two things. Uh, I'm adding the user using the command prompt but if you want a password, if you want to assign uh, the user a password, you can go under accounts and under, under settings and create the user using other users and clicking on add user account. And that will give you the option to actually create a user account with a password. So if you want to do that, please go ahead. This, that's how you create a normal user as well. By default, the, the account created is a standard account. It's not a guest account. It will always be a standard account. This guy is talking about the guest account, but he's actually showing about showing the guest account only. So just a heads up, guys, that you know there is a difference. And uh, if you want, I, I was thinking of doing it on the Pro Edition, but because Pro Edition, you can see the full screen. But let me show you guys just on the home screen. It is going to be quick. So launch command prompt as an, as, as an administrator. Because this will not work unless you're logged in as an administrator account. So let me try to make this a little bigger. And cd dot dot cls to clear the screen. First command is to add the user. Again, doing this, you're adding a user without a password. Next command is to add the user to the guests local group so this is how you add the user to the guests group and that's it well not really uh, you need to remove them from the users group as well so that is how you will remove the user from the users group and if I do um, like for example if I do this command so if you want to check what uh, group memberships a user has 
that is the command net user the username so you can see down here that this user belongs to the guests account but if i check here it, you'll see that it will show as standard only but that is not correct so if you do the change account it will show as that it's showing as local but it's technically showing it as set as standard account but that is not a fact let me show you guys why i say that so that is it these three commands you need to run so adding a user if you want to use the gui interface you can do that add to the guest group and add to the or and delete from the users group so that is all you need to do let me sign out and show you guys uh, what it actually looks like so again no password because we added them as through the command prompt it's signed in uh, onedrive will not work settings will not work so if i click on about this pc or search for pc it does not i i'm clicking it will not let me if I click on system it doesn't do that anything else I, I i am able to do that but if i click on system again i'm clicking on it guys i don't know if you can hear the mouse i am not able to access the systems uh, information so i can't so if i do there is this info as well right so you can do this as well and oh this is what i was talking about onedrive doesn't work so i guess they can use this if they are uh technical they will be able to figure out how to run this info so really there is no point actually you know what uh if you want to set up a guest account that is how you you guys will do it so i hope that you know all these uh, viewers from this channel if they're still looking they can come come to this video hopefully they'll find it and they would be able to kind of you know confirm if it worked for you for them or not but uh, i'm surprised that you know this fellow it was like month two months three months and doesn't doesn't really entertain the the, the problem doesn't answer the question what is this using computer on some network what do you mean some network there, under system tools there was no option the user saying that there's no option so it's like same no option same and then there they disappeared anyways guys uh, thanks for watching i don't really want to bash on on the channel to be honest so i am doing my promotions uh, experiment as well so please check out those videos as well take care guys stay safe